The Blur Region Effect in Camtasia 2022. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Estatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you the Blur Region Effect. Now you might be wondering, Hey Jewel, I already know about the blur effect. Well, this is actually a little bit different and they've made blurring a lot cooler and a lot easier in Camtasia 2022. So let me show you what I mean. So first, let's go and find the blur region effect. It will be in the visual effects tab. If you don't see the visual effects tab, click more and it might be there. Sometimes it's here if you don't use the tab very much. So click on visual effects and look for blur region. These things might move around, but it's right here. After using it, if you like it, click the star button because then it'll save it to your favorites and you don't have to waste time trying to search for it. So I already know that I like it because I tested it out before this video. So I'm gonna click that star for favorites for future. Okay, so I have a test video here. Now this is gonna be great if you know, you're know you doing tutorial videos and you're showing your screen and you need to blur out potentially sensitive information, addresses, you know, passwords, things like that, or you just want to blur stuff in general. So let's take the blur region, drag it down, and two things are going to happen. This uh, rectangle is going to come up right in the middle, and then on the right hand side, it's going to have blur region features. Okay, now this is where the cool part happens here. Before, when you used to blur, you just got a rectangle piece, and then that was pretty much it. You didn't have too many features going on, but Here's another cool thing. First thing is you can go invert. So by doing that, it inverts the whole thing and it actually blurs everything around it and does pretty much the opposite. And sometimes you only want to show, let's say, a portion, but you want to blur everything else. That's where invert would come into play. So let's say I just want to show this picture, but I want to blur everything else. That's when you would use the invert. Like I said previously in the version before, you would have to get a bunch of pieces of the blur shape and put one here, put one over here, and put one over here, potentially having three pieces of blur, whereas this is just one and you click the invert. So right away, that's gonna be time saving for me. You know me, I always wanna save time editing, make things more efficient, so that's invert. Next cool thing is the shape. So we can now go oval, or rectangle. Before, it was pretty much only rectangle and you know, you could turn you could move the shape and try and do it, but pretty much it was just a rectangle. So it could be like square or rectangle. But now we got oval, and so that's going to be useful because let's say I want to blur that, it's like perfect. It's circle, right? And sometimes we just want like a nice circle. And again, if we click invert, it's gonna invert everything, pretty much the reverse. And then let's say, you know, I just want me to show, right? So that's another cool thing is the shape is now different. So let's head back to rectangle. And another one here is you can now have rounded corners. And just be careful when you're moving this, always grab the center piece, always make sure that you've got that. Otherwise you're gonna end up moving the whole screen and then you're gonna get annoyed. So make sure that you are grabbing the center each time. Otherwise you're gonna do that and then that becomes annoying. So I'm gonna put that back and make sure you are grabbing the blur. So back to the corners here, you can actually have corners. Whereas before we did not, and it just was, everything was pointed edges. And there's something about making rounded corners on a square or a rectangle that makes it look more professional. So let me invert this, maybe you'll see it a little better. You'll probably see it a little better if I had a less busy background, but it is making rounded corners, as you can see here, very lightly. And when you want more of a polished professional look, these are the things that, the small details that really do matter. So that's really cool. And again, if you don't like that, click that. And it seems that now we've got color. So usually it's like a white tint of blur happening. Let's see a purple tint of blur. So that's interesting now, you know, that, definitely makes things more visually appealing. So maybe maybe I do that now and let's click that. And so you can get really 
color customized, you know, if you've got certain branding, our branding is purple, so maybe I do start blurring in, you know, like a purple shade. That's a nice little touch that they added, I liked that. So you can pretty much choose any color you want. And they've got here the blur. And right here, they've got this blur setting to 150, so I actually don't know what this does. So, oh, we can actually make it more intense, like way more completely blurred out. I thought 150 was pretty fine, but I guess if you really don't want the person to know what your blurring is, then you can obviously amplify that and you would, you would not know. Whereas at 150, you can kind of see there's an imagery going on there, right? So if you really don't want people to know, just jack the number up there. But we'll head back to the 150 again. And then just down here, they have the ease in and ease out. So this is kind of like an animation thing a little bit. So let's just do this. So let's say uh, one sec, one second, we put it to, and we'll press play. How to create. So you see, it created the blur in one second. So it happened, it kind of did like a fade in of blur and it was in the span of one second and that's called an ease in. And you can also do the same thing with easing out. And then of course, another thing here is the tint of the color is at 25%. So if you want more intense of the color, then increase this. If you want less, then obviously lower it. They had it at 25. I might want it to be more intense actually because I do like the color. So I might actually have it be in the 30 to 40% range. Cool new feature from Camtasia, the blur region effect. I think they've definitely amplified and made the blur easier to use, more functional, and making it look a lot cooler. So I will be using this because you know, I'm often showing my computer screen and, you know, I've got to blur out addresses, passwords, that type of thing. So thank you to Camtasia for creating the blur region effect. Now this is only available in Camtasia 2022, so you do need that version. All right, so hit the thumbs up button if you got all the way to this part of the video. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.